Right then, welcome to Chef Dave Reviews Beer and Food. So we've obviously done the three blokes and beers, but do a bit of a side project, we're going to do a bit of a food reviewing. We're at, it's fucking sunny, it's about 22 degrees, fucking hot isn't it Sam? It's fucking sweating Fucking mate. roasting. So basically, put in the comments below, because I'm going to do a couple of videos a week like this, put in the comments below any places you want me to check out, booze, fucking wine, titty bars because a lot of food reviewers they're quite fucking like they don't like to swear they don't like to get they don't like to get involved either some oh, they're they're fucking they're miserable aren't they <laughs> so i'm gonna go around have a few beers have a few bevs try some food out today because me and sam are hanging we went out last night we had fucking i mean we had a few quite a few cool, double vodges didn't we yeah a few a bit of sambuca ones, as well yeah, and like yeah, yeah. sam's not a fan of sambuca not anymore not anymore and uh, yeah, we're right fucking night. So tonight, well today, there's this cafe called Lime's Cafe. It's a right fucking greasy spoon, like nasty ass like truckers place. Like it's full of truckers, greasy fucking men. You know what I mean? Bit of us, isn't it? So <laughs> we like a bit of that. So yeah, I'm gonna go down there because I'm hanging. I'm gonna plant a Guinness, which is actually fucking nice. Not a bad pint of Guinness to be fair, is it's it? Not bad, mate. You go some places, it's fucking wank. But this is a really nice pint of Guinness. So we're gonna go down there and car. We're gonna chat in the car, then we're gonna go down and check it out, have some right greasy, nasty food. I'm being a bit mean because I do actually love it there. It's like, and if I slag it off too much, the truckers are gonna fucking beat me up, you know what I mean? <laughs> but it is ace. If you've got hangover, you need to try this place, it's unreal. So, yeah, I'm gonna finish this pint, we're gonna get in the car, go down there, I'm gonna tell you where it is, and then afterwards, we're gonna review it, do a mark out of 10, and uh, like I say, get yourselves down there, show them some support, and we'll see what food's like. Bash! What's car got there, David? Yeah, it's not too bad. We're fucking midlife crisis car. Anyway, we're gonna zoom down there. We're probably down there about five minutes. Fuck them. <laughs> well then, so, got your coffee, Sam. Oh, nice one, Not mate. sponsored by them, because they fucking wank. <laughs> with a fair bit. Well, I appreciate the thought, mate. I mean, right thing, yeah. But yeah, so, going to Lime's Calf, yeah, which is yeah. Newark Way. Uh, it's about, no, it's not, it's about eight miles away. Yeah. Um. Like I say, it's pretty nice. Well, it's, it's like, I'll tell you what it is. It's um, proper, like, they do like this breakfast buffet. And honestly, right, you could literally ring out the fucking black pudding and you'd have like a fucking pint of grease. You know what I mean? <laughs> fucking nasty with all these yeah. But yeah, but they do like sort of um, Sunday lunch kind of things every day, yeah. which is pretty sound. Uh, they do loads of other food, but like I say, it's, it's a truckers and bikers calf. So basically, it's like we're all just greasy truckers go and stuff, and they have like the big fucking fill, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But like I say, the main aim of this today is we are hung over. Probably shouldn't be driving, really. Probably shouldn't be, not after last night. Not after last night's antics, you know Jesus. what I mean? We went titty bar till about fucking three in the morning, you know what I mean? Disaster. <laughs> but we're gonna get you some scran, some. Oh, nice we're one. We're gonna have mate. some nice fucking food, uh, and hopefully. Get a good review, you know what I mean? Yeah. We're gonna be honest. The thing is with us as well, we're gonna be honest. Yeah. Maybe a bit too honest, you know what I mean? <laughs> um don't think like don't think we're going down there and there's gonna be loads of fit fucking birds on either, because it's like I can't really say the names, but you know like um certain people we know, old yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit like that. It's like your grandma's cooking, you know oh, what I mean? Oh that's not bad though. No, like I say when you're over, that's yeah. what you want. You want like your grandma's cooking, you want like just, I mean, grandmas, they make stuff with grease. Yeah. You know what I mean? They make grease pancakes. Grease and love, mate. Yeah, they make pancakes with lard. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. they don't use oil. No. Or they, they, mate, they don't believe in, um, what do you call it? Fucking um, olive oil. They don't believe in that. Oh, no, they hate that. Never heard they of They think it. olive oil comes from the devil. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's absolute not. Honestly, you will never see olive oil. All you'll see your grands is fucking, Bit that's horrible stuff that the old people have. Marmalade. Marmalade. Oh, it's alright, mate. It's not it, bad. No, it's nice. It's not bad. We grew marmalade, but anybody under the age of 30 will not eat marmalade. Never heard of it. Anyone in chat, if you're under the age of 30, do you eat marmalade? Comment, because I don't think you will. No. Because it's something you have. It's something nobody likes, but when you go to your nans, she will give you marmalade. You ain't got a choice. You ain't got a choice. No. And you have to enjoy it. <laughs> and you have to, like, make out you're enjoying it, too. You know what I mean? I'm stuck in fucking traffic. No, not this one of these, some. Oh, yes, please, mate. Up for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, marmalade, absolute shit. But this is the kind of place it is. It's, uh, they'll have marmite, marmalade, fucking. A lot. Mmm. Oh, nice one, mate. That's it. So, like I say, we're gonna sort you out with some nice scran, which will hopefully get us ready for more beers later. <laughs> which would be nice. We could do round two tonight, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, but, this, is this near White Post Farm? Yeah. 
Yeah, so it's there. So we could even pop in wipers. Well, Foreman pick up a gerbil. Oh, nice. Shall we? Can, Can we? Show it? Yeah, we won. So we'll go white post farm as well, mm -hmm. maybe pick up a rabbit. Or something to make a stew. <laughs> so if there's any vegans out there, I'm lucky. Better switch off now. Oh yeah, switch off now, because uh, trigger warning, we may make a rabbit pie. <laughs> Could you can you actually cook them rabbits? Hmm? Oh, what kind of rabbits is it they use for cooking? I have no idea, mate. I'll say I've tried Not them. the sort of like fluffy bunnies they have in like white post farm. No. Maybe. You who never knows? know, do you? Who knows, mate? No, who knows? We're gonna do Loads of different reviews as well, so if you want to comment below where you want me to go, anywhere like, could even be a pub, could yeah. be a titty bar. Could if you know a good titty it. bar in one of your cities, I don't know if they'll let me film in there, but we can... Can you get them button, ca you know them hidden cameras? Mate, I've got a fucking spy pen. Have you got a spy pen? I've got a spy can pen. you put it on yeah, your... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll have to wear a shirt then. Yeah, like panel does it, does it leak? It's not <laughs> one of them like quill ones that leaks, is oh, it? Oh, no, mate. Because that'll, that'll fucking put you right in it, wouldn't it? No, no, no. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go, uh, so if there's any good titty bars, anyone knows, we'll put spy pen on, spy pen on, and we'll go in there, fuck them. <laughs> but you, you've been to your fair end of restaurants, haven't you? Yeah, no, I'm a big fan. What's that place you were on about the other day, um, the lasagna restaurant, talk us through <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, there's a place in Nottingham I want to try out, they only do lasagna. Just no, lasagna? Nothing else. Not even a drink? No, 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 you sit down, you get a fucking plate of lasagna, mate. That's not it. even a menu? Not even a menu, mate. Just literally like... What do you want? No, you never ask you what you want, they just slap. Did they like slap a lasagna now? Yeah, just right in front of you, like, here you go, mate. Can you ask for like a lasagna smoothie? Oh, mate. You could. You could. Do what you want. <laughs> I'm sure they can. Maybe try that out. There's, um, because to be honest, I don't want, because like, so people don't really know backstory, but basically, I used to be, a, I know obviously I'm on TikTok and uh, we do like three blokes of beers and this and that, but I used to be a head chef, so I used to be a professional chef. We actually ran, so Sam, mm. the cameraman Sam, uh, was my sous chef for like, I don't know, seven years, eight years? Yeah, by that time. Yeah, yeah. and um, we worked together, known each other all our lives, and we cooked together. We actually ran a restaurant that was, very, well, we actually won an award for um, the best restaurant in Nottinghamshire, yeah. so the best out of town restaurant. So, yeah, we're pretty, pretty decent restaurant. We had the best steak in England as well. Um, yeah, we did really well, to be fair. Yeah. Like, really good. This is why I think I'll be quite good at reviewing food, because we know our, we know our shit. Yeah, yeah. Well, we think we do, anyway. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's basically, I know, like, I do TikTok and this and that. A lot yeah. of pubs and a lot of boozing, you know what I mean? But I thought you could get to know me a little bit of outside of TikTok, you know what I mean? Which is basically just boozing, really. All right. Not really so, much difference, really. So what's your opinion on politics, mate? What team do you back for? To be honest with you, I try and keep out of it. You know what I mean? I, I try and keep out of it. It's like, um, I think it's a grey area, isn't it? Yeah. You know what I mean? So are you more Team Palestine, more Team Israel? I don't know, to be honest, because, again, I don't like to get involved, because, oh, like, well, what team are you on? <laughs> what can you say? Oh, we'll, we'll keep that to myself, mate. Yeah, maybe we'll release it one day. Oh, maybe. But no, I, I keep out of it, to be honest. Uh, it's like, it's like spiders. They've got to be there. They're everywhere. I don't like them, no. and they scare me, but I've got this mutual understanding where I leave them alone, they leave me alone, right? and they catch your flies. Oh, nice, so nice. That's the way I look at politics, you know what I mean? Like, they're there, Yeah. I don't really like them, I don't like it, I don't no. like any of it. No. It scares me, that's why I just leave it alone. Oh, leave them well alone, to be honest. Okay, mate. And they catch, what do they catch? Do they catch spiders? Maybe. Who knows? Don't know. Who's our fucking PM these days? Rishi, what's his name? <laughs> no, he changes every six months. Fuck knows. Who cares? It's not Boris anymore, is it? Nah. I liked him, I did. Did you? Well, it was, ah. it was a bit of a laugh. Yeah. I don't know. I couldn't take Maybe him seriously. that's the problem. I couldn't take him serious. Yeah, I know. I wasn't sure if he was like a comedy act or... Yeah. I'd love to go for a beer with him. Yeah? Oh, come on. He's a right laugh. Yeah. I was actually down in London the other day. Yeah, yeah. And, um, we're near, near the um, House of Parliament, you know, right outside it. You should have popped in and said hello. You know what? I was going to pop in for a pint, but he went in. Oh. I, did, I, I said to there's like blokes with guns and stuff. Yeah. yeah. And I did say, like, is uh, Rishi in? Is it Rishi? Rishi. Rishi. Yeah. I said, he's Rishi in. If I'm, like, tell him Chef Dave's here. He's wondering if you want to come out for a pint. They said, not in a minute, pal. That's <laughs> Rishi. Pretentious twat. Yeah, fucking knobhead. Like, all I want to do is go and a fucking pint with him. You know what I mean? Oh, man. I bet he's a laugh, though. Well, oh, Rishi. Him, yeah, him and Boris Johnson, titty bar, I reckon they'll have a right uh, I don't know. I bet mate. Boris likes titty bars. Do you reckon? <laughs> or do you reckon he's a bit straight laced? I bet Boris. you, has he got a wife? Mate, he's got several. Yeah, I bet you, when when his fucking wives are like, I bet he's oh, I'm just nipping out, I'm just nipping out with fucking, who's that youth that went on I'm a Celebrity? Uh, Matt Hancock. 
How about him and my Hancock? Because my Hancock's top shaggy, you know? Yeah, yeah. He is a top shaggy at the UK. So I reckon Boris and Matt Hancock went out. Yeah. Probably every Friday. They told the wives, oh, we've just got important business. What do they call it? Fucking um, a cover. You know, when we had COVID and that? Yeah, yeah, They'd yeah, have yeah. like the fucking. They say they're going into a bunker for the. What's that chat they had? They had like the big meet, Cobra meeting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're like, oh, just going to Cobra meeting. They weren't. They went out fucking titty bar. You know what I mean? I bet, I bet you any money that's where they were. And the wives were like oblivious to it all. Yeah. Matt Hancock got caught at that, so Boris had to sack him because he's like, he's like, sorry mate, but I'll tell you what, I'll give you some cash. Obviously don't say I've been up to it as well, you know what I mean? Yeah. But that's what happened. He almost got away with it. He well, almost got away with all it. All of them did. But someone fucking, some fucking grass, someone grassed him in. <laughs> Bastard. He shouldn't have been doing it. Well, no. who's to say? Who's to say he shouldn't have been doing it? But, you know what I mean? Yeah. Got caught. But I'm, I'm on Team Hancock, I think he's a fucking, he's a unit as well, you know. Is he? Yeah, he used to be a fighter. <laughs> but now he's a shagger. No, he, he's a lover. He is literally top shagger, like, he'll shag. Matt Hancock literally will shag your wife. <laughs> you ain't got no say in it either, you know what I mean? He'll go out, see your wife, and he'll be like, I'm having her. Oh, we're here, we're here, Sam. Oh, so nice this one. is it, Lime's cut off, you could spin, you can pan around now. Huh? So this is literally it, the dirty, or not dirty because it's very clean, but this is the trucker's calf. Look at him, full of greasy man. What's he doing? He's just doing a bit, isn't he? Loving it. Oh mate, we are here. We are literally here. Lime's calf in the middle of Newark somewhere. On the way to Skeg, I think. But we're here, it's a lovely day. We're gonna have some scran and uh, see what's about. Hey up, Sam. Hey, if I see you here, mate. Look for a chef here. <laughs> Fuck off. What do you reckon? I think my days are chef behind 30 me. 30 hours? Oh, lovely, lovely. Right, so we're here, Lime's calf. We're gonna have two of the roast beef dinners. So, have you got any, uh, can we have any boots? You, you, you can bring your own in if you... You can bring your own boots. You should have bought one of the vodka or something. Oh, next time, it. mate, we'll remember. Yeah, we'll just have, what drinks have we got? What do you fancy? You've got drinks on draft as well, if you want it dressed nice. Yeah, we'll need some Coke. We'll yeah. have a bit of Coke, don't we? We'll have a bit of Coke, mate. Regular or large? Uh, two regular Coke, please. <laughs> That'll be 18 pounds for us. Right, look at the top of the round to the top. Do you have a menu? The menus are just the screen. Oh, yeah. So you change from morning to afternoon. Yeah, it's basically. It's always closing time, but like, we'll come by later, but we do like proper like breakfast scram buffet as well, so it's like ultimate, like, you ever want to like proper breakfast? Feeling hanging, literally coming here, have what you want. You can't buy 20 ash browns. Can you have 20 ash browns if you want? Literally, have what you want, you know what I mean? As many trips as much as you want. Yeah, as many times as you want. Get in, get some ash browns, lads. Bash. <laughs> right, and some so we're here, we're hanging our arseholes. We've got roast dinner coming, beef roast, so. And it's what day is it, say? Fuck knows, mate, what day is it? Fuck knows. Day is end of one. Thursday, yes, Thursday. Yes, Thursday, we're having a roast dinner. And fuck it, lovely. Like, you don't see these many places anymore. No. And it's like, it's not Heinz, no. it's not um, HP, but it's like. Where's it come from, mate? I don't know. It's on the Smith. The thing is, nobody knows. Oh. It's nice, like, have a smell that. Oh, mate. Mm. I love them. It's like, you know, we have like breakfast, you pull that on. It's yeah. like, I don't know. Oh, I like Heinz. And yeah. like, HP and stuff. Like, nobody knows where this comes from. <laughs> no one does. I think it's made. I think it's made from like a big, like, dirty pot. I mean, like, some big pot of it, like, I love it. <laughs> Amazing. That looks ace You're very welcome. Do you want a sauce, Tom? No, mate, I'm good. I'll say a bit of mint and all sauce, please, please. Oh, it's looking quality, that's very look at that. That's like proper, you know, what your nan has. You know, when your nan cooks your Sunday dinner, you hang it. You know, you go around, you're hanging out, you also <laughs> you have, like, way too many beers. And you go around to your nap and she just gives you something that just makes you like. And then you have it and then have a nap. <laughs> we might have to pull. You know what I mean? That doesn't mean. That looking good, mate. Got fucking stuffing, Yorkshire's, roasters, fudgy carrots. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you, love. I don't know if to just lather it on some. What do you reckon? Just lather on, mate. A bit of pepper, though. You shouldn't really do this, you know, as a chef. No. You should barely season the fuck boys. Oh, mate, you used to make my blood boil sometimes. Oh, you used to eat it and then I've yeah, gone and yeah, done yeah. it. And I've put mint sauce all over it. Mate, you're actually a madman. But the thing is, I'm fucking hanging, so. Yeah. What are you can do? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm going to try to square stuff in the top, it's quite nice. Oh, it's ace up. 
queen beans as well. Yeah. I'm never too sure about these candles. There's a line. What's the point? There's like crinkle cooking. Yeah. Oh, I don't know, mate. Mm. I'm a less is more kind of guy. I'll tell you what, this is absolutely quality. Yeah. Real match as well. Mm -hmm. That's always good. Crunk of carrots, roast potatoes, all besses. Mm. <laughs> Probably, mate. Yeah, that's looking good, though. Your nan does like hot messes. Mm. She normally puts hot messes in there, isn't she? Yeah, My yeah, nan's yeah. dead, but... Yeah, she's a busy woman. If she was alive, yeah. she'd use hot messes. But she did die about 35 years ago. Oh, fuck it, I mean. I don't know if hot messy was... Was hot messy around? <laughs> in comments, was hot messy, Betty, or Betty or hot messy? Oh, Betty, I think, right? Yeah, was hot yeah, yeah. Betty around 35 years ago? Because if she was, my auntie would have used it. Mm. Or my grandma. <laughs> mm. Nice, um, boiling like beef. Nice. We like pink beef, we do, but at the end of the day, how much was this? I don't know how much was it, mate. Not all. Like, six quid a dinner. Oh, give it six, away. Six, you know, literally, you can throw in it away. Yeah, mate. You know what I mean? Six quid a dinner, you've got stuffing, roasted, fucking beef, carrots, mash. They didn't even charge you for the fucking mint sauce. That's all a bonus, isn't it? <laughs> I know Simple Simon moans about when he gets his condiments and he has to pay. He always goes to McDonald's, he moans that they charge you 5p now for the really? condiment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what a knobhead. Mm. I get my milk for free from there, mate. Just help yourself. Absolutely. Throw your pockets full. Oh. Yeah. So basically, me and Sam now, we're going to eat a bit of this and then we're going to have a little chat about it. And then we're going to go to the pool. Yeah, mate, good on starving. But yeah, let's say a bit of food. Tell you what, Sam, I'm fucking done with that. <laughs> oh, honestly, like. Right. Does that feel your old? I feel like my hangover was gone. Mate, never had that hangover. Oh, mate, I'm full. No, I'm ready for a pint. I'm ready <laughs> for bed. Honestly, it feels like I've just had some scrad at my nan's place if she was still alive. I say that, I don't think I've ever had scrad at my nan's because she died before I born. <laughs> but I've had scrad at everyone else's nan's, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Okay. But yeah, that right, is. So, Lime's Calf in. Where are we? Uh, fuck knows, mate. Fuck knows. Lime's Cafe and Fuck knows. I don't know where we are. We're near Newark, I think. So oh, right. right. On yeah, a, yeah. a summit. Yeah. Have a link in comments, tell us where we are. We don't fucking clue. We're hanging. <laughs> but we're going to nip outside now, give it a make rating out of 10, and then we're going to have a pub. So don't forget, subscribe, like, and get a fucking knob out. Oh. Tell you what, Sam, that was fucking quality, that was. I'm going to give that 10 out of 10, just because if you're hanging out your arsehole, <laughs> You have this, you feel mint, you're ready for round two. And you can bring your own fucking booze, so. And as well, so if you spin round, you can go to Bill's Fort Heritage Museum if you fancy it. It's shit. It's absolutely the wankiest thing you've ever been to in your life. But if you like Bill's Fort, and you like you want to see some heritage of Bill's Fort, you can do that as well. You know what I mean? So yeah, 10 on 10, absolutely sand. We're gonna go to a pub now and eat some beers. So like, subscribe, get your fucking knob out, and um, I'll see you on the next one.